They're not real, but the fear and danger they pose is. The state government today moved to outlaw gel blasters with hefty penalties and fines for possessing one. Jessica Page explains. This is currently legal in Western Australia, but police say they can't be sure at a quick glance it's not a real loaded gun. And after 147 high-risk police call-outs in a single year by scared members of the public, they're worried someone might be hurt. So gel blasters will be banned with little warning from July 3. Gel blasters look like firearms. It is dangerous. We live in the environment, a post-terrorism world, where police officers, all police officers, are ready to respond to active shooter incidents. But when they come across someone wearing, uh, carrying a gel blaster, they will be either incapable or hard-pressed to be able to determine whether or not that's a real firearm. A tragedy is just waiting to happen with these things. There will be an amnesty for people who voluntarily give up weapons that can cost thousands or as little as $110 online. But if you're caught with one, you could face three years jail or a $36,000 fine. This is about saving people's lives. Uh, there are real incidents that do occur where armed police are going to be putting not only themselves but other members of the community, perhaps innocent people, who may be in possession of these types of weapons because we want to make sure the community is kept safe. Consultation will follow into whether some recreational use can be allowed, but that option will be considered too late for one business owner who says he will be forced to shut. Hear from him in the News at Six.